So guys, I mean trains here, and you know that this year was one of the best years of railroad history. So I'm going to be counting down the top 5 moments of railroad history that happened this year. Starting off at number 5 are the Canadian Pacific Heritage Units. As you guys know, that Canadian Pacific is rebuilding their SD90 Max to SD70 ACUs, just like Norfolk Southern. Canadian Pacific decided to paint some of these units into special schemes. Five units were put into the Canadian Pacific Heritage Scheme and others were put in the colors of the U.S. and Canadian military. Some units are still being worked on, but others are out and running right now. Now moving on to number four. We have the completion of the Cass Climax number nine. After many years of work, this locomotive was completed and ran a series of photo runs earlier this fall. It is scheduled to make its first excursion run in the spring. For number three, we have the ferry move of Chesapeake and Ohio 2716 with the Clinchfield 800. In the summer, 2716 led by 800 made a ferry move from New Haven, Kentucky to Ravenna, Kentucky, making several stops along the way as it traveled on CSX and RJ Corman lines. 2716 is awaiting restoration in Ravenna, while 800 is running excursions out of Ohio awaiting for its return to Tennessee. Next is Norfolk and Western Class J number 611's trip to Strasburg, Pennsylvania. In the late summer and early fall months, 611 ran on the Strasburg Rail Line for photo shoots and excursions, reuniting with Norfolk and Western 475. 611 is currently going its winter inspection in Spencer, North Carolina. My only honorable mention is CSX 911, 1776, and 3194. Now moving on to the last one, number one. It is, drum roll please, <laughs> Union Pacific's Big Boy number 4014 returning to excursion service. Throughout this year, Union Pacific 4014 ran many excursions over the UP line for the first time since the 1950s. It is the largest steam locomotive operating in the US currently. It is currently going under a winter inspection, so it can return in the year 2020. But anyway, that wraps it up for this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.